This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the Senior VP of Corporate Development for Calibre Mining, Mr. Ryan King. Ryan, how are you today? I'm great, uh, Gerardo. Thanks very much for having us back on. I look forward to the conversation. Well, no, listen, let's get right into it. The last time that you and I spoke, we chatted about the bull market, the gold bull market that we think we are on on, on the cusp of. And I, I, I firmly believe that's definitely going to be the case here by the end of Q4 and, and Q1 of 2024. In the meantime, Calibre just reported some really, really strong third quarter financial results. And I wanted to go ahead and get into some of the details. So thanks for coming on. I would love for you to provide the context there. <clears throat> yeah, no, sure. As you said, uh, uh, again, strong results. This is this is coming from record, actually a fourth consecutive uh, record production quarter for us. So over 73,000 ounces, which is significantly up year over year. Uh, it's obviously up from Q2. And uh, we generated a little over $16 million of free cash after investing in exploration, which was roughly $7, $7 million. And after investing uh, over $25 million back into the assets in terms of you know new development we've been developing on East, Eastern Barossi Open Pit, uh, Pavon Central, uh, acquiring land and, and doing additional mine development uh, to really set us up for the future. So we are adding cash quarter over quarter and uh, and not at the expense of reinvesting back into the assets for sustainability. A 72 increase in cash on hand to $97 million is an impressive, impressive feat for a company that is trading at a severe discount compared to its peers, even in this market where we know market sentiment isn't the strongest right now, you're still trading at a pretty substantial discount. Do you want to get into that at all? Uh, yeah, I mean, you pointed out 72% increase in cash from January of this year, and it's a good point. Um, this was a grade-driven production growth year. I mean, year over year since we acquired the assets in Q4 of 2019, We've evolved our operating strategy such that it's a, a very effective, responsible hub and spoke approach. We have 2.7 million tons of processing capacity. Um, we have our Libertad mill, which is a 2.2 million ton per annum mill, 70% uh, utilized. And so there's a significant opportunity for us. I, sh I should say 70% across both uh, both plants. So we've got 70% we've got 70, 70 utilized now, 30% available. That's over 1 million tons. Of, avail of availability for low cost, no capital in terms of the process plant's growth. And so uh, it's a tremendous opportunity for additional growth. And when you look at what we've done since acquiring the assets, um, it's really impressive from my perspective as well. Uh, fortunately, we've got a, a very exper experienced CEO that has worked in this business for 30 years as an operator. And we've gone from, in Q4 2019, net of obligations, we've gone from $4 million of cash to, uh, to roughly, as you said, $97 million in cash. We've grown production year over year, approximately 20%. And importantly, after almost uh, 700, 750,000 ounces of production, we've increased reserves to 1 million ounces or 280% in, in Central America. And when we look at our peers, and you bring up a good point, when we look at our peers, uh, Orla uh, operating in Mexico, Panama, um, as well as, as Nevada. We look at K92, uh, Papua New Guinea, uh, West Ohm, Canada, um, you know, Corora, Austra Australia, uh, Dundee Precious Metal, um, Victoria, all, all peers in various different jurisdictions, Torex, Mexico. Caliber trades at a, uh, about, uh, about $1,650 enterprise value to ounce of, of annual production uh, going into 2024. Whereas the peer average is trading at 3,300, hmm. you know, so this is what I believe and we believe presents a value proposition to, uh, to our investors and shareholders. Yet at the same time, when we look at sort of analyst consensus operating cash flow, we're at the top quartile of those peers. We're at the top quartile of gold production. And what I find exciting about our business is, as I mentioned on the reserves, we continuously reinvest back into exploration. 
And now we've demonstrated uh, the eff effectiveness of our hub and spoke approach. And so any new deposits that, you know, 50, 100,000 ounces can be material that we can bring into our facility. Uh, and this is all self-funded. It's very exciting, not only self-funded, as you know, we've grown the cash. So it's a very exciting place for us to be and it demonstrates a, a value opportunity as we head into what we believe uh, could be a, a very exciting bull market for gold given the macro landscape right now. You're a production story. You are a development story. You're an exploration story. It's all in one. Impressive stuff, Ryan. Again, kudos to you and the team. Looking forward to having you back on. I know there's a lot in the fire there for Q4. Thank you again for your time. Thanks very much. Look forward to the uh, future discussions. All right. Chat soon. Hey, everybody. Gerardo Del Real here. If you're enjoying the content that you just saw, you can let us know in three simple steps. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and please share across your network and on social media. Take care, everybody.